Across the boundless canvas of the universe, billions of stars shine, each one a glowing reminder of a question that has echoed through the ages. Are we alone? With every scientific breakthrough, we move a little closer to finding the answer. And now, a technological masterpiece has entered the spotlight, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. This remarkable machine doesn't just observe space, it looks back through time and magnifies the unseen. It's showing us parts of the universe we've never been able to witness before. One of its most astonishing discoveries so far? A mysterious exoplanet known as K218b. A planet that defied expectations when JWST focused its powerful sensors on K218b. What scientists discovered was nothing short of incredible. Signs of water vapor in the planet's atmosphere. A key ingredient for life as we know it. But that wasn't all. The telescope also detected a rare molecule, one that is strongly associated with life here on Earth. A compound that sent a ripple of excitement through the scientific world. Could this be our first real clue of life beyond our solar system? Journey to K218b located about 120 light years away in the Leo constellation. K218b belongs to a class of planets called sub-Neptunes. Planets larger than Earth, but smaller than Neptune. These worlds don't exist in our own solar system, which makes them difficult to study and even harder to understand. K218b orbits a red dwarf star, a cooler and smaller star compared to our Sun. Despite being much closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun, K218b exists in the habitable zone, the sweet spot where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist on the surface. This delicate balance between heat and distance sets the stage for something remarkable. What's in the air? Thanks to JWST's infrared vision and a technique called transit spectroscopy, scientists were able to peek into the planet's atmosphere. As K218b passed in front of its star, light filtered through its atmospheric layers, revealing the unique fingerprints of the gases it contains. What they found was water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide all molecules that can be connected to biological processes. But the true headline? A possible detection of dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. A compound that, on Earth, is almost exclusively produced by microorganisms in our oceans. If confirmed, this could be one of the most convincing chemical signatures of alien life ever discovered. What makes DMS so important? DMS is not commonly produced through non-living processes. Its presence in Earth's atmosphere is almost entirely due to biological activity. That's why even a hint of DMS in an exoplanet's atmosphere is such a big deal. Of course, these findings are preliminary. Scientists will need more time and observations to confirm if DMS is truly present, or if there could be another explanation. But even now, the possibility has created a wave of excitement and hope. The birth of the Hycean world, the atmosphere of K218b appears to be rich in hydrogen, with conditions that could maintain pressure and temperatures ideal for liquid water, possibly even global oceans. These ideas led researchers like Professor Niku Madhusudan and his team at the University of Cambridge to propose a new class of planets, the Hycean worlds, water-rich planets with hydrogen-heavy atmospheres. Hycean planets could be up to 10 times the mass of Earth, with deep, warm oceans hidden beneath thick clouds and high pressures. Despite surface temperatures possibly reaching 200 degrees Celsius, life why K218b truly matters in our vast galaxy, filled with hundreds of billions of stars and likely even more planets, the search for life has long focused on rocky, Earth-like worlds, those that resemble our own. But a new class of planets is beginning to take center stage, shifting the spotlight away from the familiar and toward the alien. Hycean planets like K218b are part of this revolution. These water-rich worlds, wrapped in thick hydrogen atmospheres, are not only more common than Earth-sized planets, they're also easier to detect with modern instruments. Their larger size and denser atmospheres provide a broader canvas for telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, to analyze. This gives us a better chance to study them, to probe their chemistry, and perhaps, just perhaps, to detect signs of life. And that's exactly what makes K218b so vital. 
Right now, K218b is leading the charge in this new frontier. It's not just another exoplanet. It's a prime testing ground, a place where advanced technology, bold theory, and timeless curiosity converge. As JWST continues its work, each observation, each transit, is a slow peel of the curtain revealing the unknown. These transits, where the planet passes in front of its star from our point of view, can take hours. The data collection is intricate, requiring precise timing, calibration, and patience. But what we gain is enormous. Each spectrum of light analyzed is a tiny fingerprint, a chemical whisper from an alien world. And sometimes, those whispers sound eerily like the echoes of life. A new way to think about life for much of human history, we imagined life existing in places that look like Earth, blue skies, rocky terrain, oceans and continents. But discoveries like K218b are forcing us to reimagine the rules. Perhaps life doesn't need continents or breathable air. Perhaps it doesn't walk, it swims. Perhaps it doesn't bask in sunlight, it hides beneath dense clouds. K218b challenges everything we thought we knew. Imagine this alien world in your mind. A planet over twice the size of Earth. Its surface hidden beneath a thick atmosphere filled with hydrogen and vaporized water, cloaked in clouds that glow crimson under the dim light of a red dwarf star. Beneath those clouds may lie endless oceans, deeper and darker than anything on Earth, seas that stretch across the entire planet, heated from below and protected from radiation by a natural hydrogen blanket. Now imagine those oceans alive, filled not with fish or whales, but with microbial organisms, drifting through the water, generating faint chemical signatures like methane or dimethyl sulfide, just enough to be noticed across the vacuum of space. These ideas may sound like science fiction, but they are built on real data, real chemistry, and real planetary science. And the telescope watching it all unfold is orbiting over our heads right now. Could this be the first sign of alien life? The signals we've received from K218b, the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and the tantalizing hint of dimethyl sulfide, are not definitive proof of life. Not yet. But they are the most promising clues we've ever seen from an exoplanet. Each of these molecules, especially DMS, is strongly associated with biological activity here on Earth. If future observations confirm their presence, and rule out non-biological explanations, then K218b may become the first known world beyond Earth to show potential signs of life. Not life as we know it, but life as it could be. This possibility has reshaped how astronomers search for habitability. The assumption that life needs Earth-like conditions is fading. The new question is, what kind of alien conditions could also support life? And K218b, with its exotic climate and alien chemistry, might be the answer. A turning point in the search for life K218b is more than a planet. It's a milestone, a symbol of how far we've come, and how close we might be to discovering something truly extraordinary. It represents a turning point, a transition from hope to evidence, from wondering to possibly knowing. And it reminds us that life in the cosmos may be diverse, unpredictable, and far more common than we ever imagined. Imagine being the generation that witnesses this breakthrough, not through distant myths or science fiction, but through real science, real data, and real discoveries. Imagine realizing that we're not alone, that even now, there may be life on distant worlds, 